So here's our dilemma. So our corn's ready to go, but Jim really needs us. So he wants us to go help look over all of his equipment that got uh, vandalized. So we're going to go look at that quickly. And uh, then I think my cousin is arranging a search party because the cops called and said that they believe the semis are around the local area. I don't know how they know this stuff, but let's get to it. So the first thing is I need a pet buck. What's up, buck? And I'm going to feed you, buck, just in case you get hungry. So I want to... Oh, there's our Honda. We're going to go look at our uh, cattle here quickly. Oh, can you believe that haze already dried over there? I just mowed that the other day. One thing that we need to get is we need to get this Alice Chalmers in the field again. Or get it running, I guess. Please. Uh, this whole vandal vandalism that happened to Jim is really holding us up. So uh, I want to uh, just go check these cattle quickly. And then, uh, I mean, we got to go help Jim out. I mean, I know our corn's ready to go and everything, but... It's important to help our uh, good buddy Jim, our employee, our neighbor, however you want to call him, out. Basically, make sure that uh, he is uh, just to... I really... He's been stressing out trying to find these two semis because he, uh, he's kind of stuck. I mean, I guess he could start harvest again, but it's just too much on the back of his head. So I don't know how they really know this for sure, but uh, somehow if they got some intel or something, they, uh, what? What's up, Massey? Are you okay? Do you need my assistance? I don't think you're okay. Poor Massey. That trailer's just too much for it. All right, so... Our cattle look like they're doing good, so we'll head over to Jim. So I guess we are going to uh, start inspecting his equipment as best we can. You uh, just hang out there, Massey. Don't go anywhere, okay? All right, let's get over here. I think I'm going to take the old uh, trusty Ford Ranger. I really like our lawn art we have over here. John Deere Model A. Look at that old beast it's seen its time now it gets to uh, enjoy the sunlight start this gas guggler up get headed over there so I don't exactly know what my cousin's got up her sleeve but she uh, wants us to meet later on so at first I'm gonna go to Jim's try to inspect some of his equipment and then uh, hopefully I'll start greasing that up getting it all prepared as long as it's good to go and then uh, you know, I guess we'll head over uh, visit our uh, cousin these trees sure are beautiful here in the uh, nice fall time here in Oregon man such a beautiful area around here so we will uh, Go uh, help Jim here inspect some of this equipment. He did bring it all back to his farmyard, so I'll find out what he wants us to do. All right, first Jim. So Jim's already looked over both harvesters, so he believes they're okay. So he ran the separators, ran the heads. Nothing sounds out of place, so they appear to not have much damage underneath the undercarriage, if you want to say so. Lucked out there. That's definitely a plus. Uh, and then, so we just have to look at both grain carts. I hope this one isn't broken. So I'm really worried about this hitched area. So I really got to take a close inspection of that. Make sure nothing's bent or uh, cracked in uh, this beast. Because uh, they're the ones that were weighted down. Extreme amount of weight. So we'll look under here. 
joint here. So the bolts are uh, broken or wore. So they do have a little bit of bushing for a little bit of play in that axle. Another thing I'm concerned about is the hitch. Yep, that looks good. And I wanted to check the old uh, 9510R here. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like we got a snapped off boat there. Something's going on. I can't really get to it. Yeah. That ain't good. So it looks like that uh, front, uh, basically that axle got torqued or something. I'm surprised I didn't feel it when I was driving it down the road. I have to go talk to Jim and find out what he wants done over here. Alright, so Jim just wants us to uh, unhitch it. We're going to drive it over to the John Deere dealership across the street and uh, they are going to uh, uh, basically inspect it, look at it, uh, see what's wrong. Uh, hopefully it appears that this is what is caused. It was caused by uh, the vandalism. I don't think this was a pre-existing uh, issue. I don't think, but I don't know for sure. Uh, but anyways, we will get this uh, grain cart unhitched. Let's see. Uh, probably... Yeah, I'll probably just back it up right here so it's outside the garage. Just in case we need to pull something else in. That way I can pull that other grain cart in. And uh, we don't have to drive far to drop it off to the dealership across the street over there. Well, hopefully this isn't an expensive fix, but once you get to axles and being uh, bent and everything, it could be expensive for you. Alright, got that unhitched, so we'll leave it there for a little bit. And we're off. Probably shouldn't go that fast, beans. I have something wrong, especially turning. So I guess when I'm going straight, I can kind of feel it off, so that's not good. I don't know why I didn't notice that prior. That is not good. This is the good thing about living by a John Deere dealership, other than having to see all their pretty green paint. Is, uh... You want to take something in for repair? That was easy. Alright, so we'll go talk to them quickly, make sure they understand where they're looking at the area. I want to make sure they know, and uh, I guess I get a walk back. It's not like it's that bad. It's maybe a block or two. Alright, now we just have to get to the second grain cart here. So the good thing about these equalizer uh, tracks is they will flex in all directions, so I do not think they would be damaged, but uh, you never know. Uh, just make sure if you plan on your grain cart getting vandalized that you have an equalizer tracks on it. Probably a good thing to invest if you have uh, vandals around your area. Alright, I think this uh, is basically good to go. So, uh, big surprise here. Uh, my cousin picked the meeting spot to be uh, Starbucks. I mean, did anybody not guess that already? I mean, that's pretty obvious. I, You guys probably already knew. So, it, I'm the one that has to tell obvious news already. But, uh, I guess uh, she has a couple uh, people who want to get together. So, with the police department. And we're going to do a good search of the whole county here. So, we're all going to head out search you know the local uh, forest the local old country roads uh, uh, basically just make sure we don't see it off in the distance so for whatever reason the because of intel that the police department got uh, a lot of times these things they go to a bar and go brag about what they did and stuff like that so I'm guessing something like that happened and uh, Police department has some type of intel thinking that it's still the trucks are still in this county. Which is kind of a good feeling. Just don't know how Jim feels about it, but uh 
At least they're not, you know, sold over here in the next state already. What do we have here? What? Look at all this. So my cousin, she got her, uh, basically her whole truck club to agree to go help out Jim search for his vehicles. It's pretty nice of them. And I get to kind of check out all these vehicles. I mean, ooh, man, look at that thing in there. You see that beast of an engine in there? Oh, uh, that's pretty. That is a pretty nice Bronco there, kind of like my, uh, cousins I guess and of course that's a pretty ranger uh, there's my uh, cousins assault rifles and everything so she's ready to go for the search Ooh, look at this first gen Dodge mm, back when they were Dodges and not Rams well power Rams they were just uh, coded as power Rams beautiful first gen Looky there, rounded front headlights, no bow tie in front, BF good riches on the rubber there. Look at that little pipe, so tiny and cute. Look at that little e bitty uh, exhaust pipe, they're so tiny and cute. How cute is that? I'm just making fun of these gassers driving diesels and have the big four inch or six inch exhausts. Uh, that thing is teeny. That's what she said. Ooh, what do we have here? Look at that. Got the Ford, the blue logo on front. Got an IH symbol on the rear glass there. I guess that's because they're powered by it. Now that is a exhaust pipe right there. A hey, uh, bow tie. You taking uh, tips over here? That looks good. Yours, not so much. But gassers don't need that big of a exhaust tip. This thing kind of nice. Good old work truck, I bet. But we need to get in here, get uh, situated, and kind of plan for this, uh, how we're going to do this. Police department's obviously going to come help us out. So they have the sheriff, sorry, and the police department are going to come help us out. So... Uh, they agreed to help out, so we are kind of helping them out, I guess, more than anything. Search for these, uh, the Vandal. Uh, the guy in the blue pickup, still at large, he's, uh, he's, uh, a, a serious possible interest to the police department on his, uh, recent history. Alright, so we got the plan of attack. We're going to all search. We all got our areas that, uh, the police department's going to have us, uh, search and basically just make sure we don't see these uh, semis parked somewhere just waiting for uh, down stuff to quiet down and basically go sell that's what I really want to prevent so we're gonna try to go find these uh, we the police departments already uh, contacted all the local elevators so they all have a vehicle or a semi uh, so they're on the lookout just in case somebody tries to sell some grain with a similar uh, style or look of uh, semis as Jim had so hopefully that helps us out too but we'll get all these vehicles out there and running and uh, we'll get our own butt out there and looking and hopefully we can find these semis sometime today all right, everyone basically already took off. Uh, I just wanted to enjoy my coffee a little bit, but these guys are serious. Uh, we probably should be too, so we need to go look for Jim's, uh, uh, basically his uh, vehicles. Jim is actually riding around with one of the police officers, so uh, we are just by ourselves. So I'm just going to be uh, driving around the countryside, and uh, hopefully... I can find something around here. We do have a few people. Actually, I'm going to go the other direction. No big reason other than I, I just want to look this direction. So uh, basically, we are look out 
to look for the semis and also we are out to look for uh, the person of interest the vehicle of interest we don't really have a license plate or anything so I don't have anything more than that we are just keeping an eye out for all these areas so I'm gonna like drive down this road here and just uh, make sure I don't see anything tracks maybe anything unusual can't believe we can hear the water sound all the way up here so you can see a long ways in this area so I guess that's good especially good now all right nothing out that way just making sure nothing's over this little crest here you never know where they put some a truck like this we are just out and about join our little uh, stroll I guess so I'm just gonna go down here and a couple of these driveways I'm gonna drive down just to make sure there's nothing parked in here I remember this area I think no it's a little ways down I guess got a fence there so I'm not too concerned about driving down there but unless the person that owns that uh, land is up to no good never know though I'm a little concerned that maybe uh, people won't like me driving on their land oh yeah this is where I pot our old beautiful 7140 got a beautiful old barn here Looky here, we got a police department headed by. Ooh. Going kind of slow, so they must be by knocking or something. At least they're not trying to find somebody speeding. Yep, that looks like another old. Uh, that's that Bronco. Beautiful Bronco running there. Obviously, I don't think they uh, parked them around Jim's area here. I don't think. Ooh, get out of the way. Is that old uh, OBS Ford there? Is this my cousin? Yeah. I have never seen my cousin drive so. I was going to go around, but. A couple of cops going there. Oh, no. This is, this is a Dodge. I don't know what I was thinking. Duh. Cousin can't be driving slow. I thought that for sure that was them, but should have just read the tailgate, I guess. It's, you know, I'm going to take that old logging road back there. Looks like old uh, the bow tie went up that road. Alright, so we don't have anything unusual, so we're looking for tracks, looking for that blue uh, Chevy, and uh, looking obviously for some trucks. So this would have been pretty close, so I don't know why we would have looked at this area to begin with, but you never know. You can always look twice, head back the other way. Oh, there's my cousin. I can tell that front end everywhere. <laughs> but I've never seen her drive that slow, though. Old bowtie Chevy needs to hurry up over here. We'll go down here, check this uh, old... Uh, ranch out I guess if you want to call it that hmm nothing really looks suspicious uh, some of these areas I can just kind of go in there and just just give them a flyer basically let them know what we're up to if they see anybody or if they know any uh, info all right before I get a shotgun on me, I'll take off here. I'm just driving. What? what is that out there in that ditch? You see that? I thought I saw something. What is that? Do you guys see that? There's some black mark. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I'm gonna have to call Jim. 911, get them all over here. Oh no. Oh man. Wow. This is just unbelievable. Why would you do this? What would possess you? They must have known that we were on to them and uh, tried to uh, dispose of the semis. Oh man, that corn is ruined. That them fish have enough food for the whole entire winter than some. Actually, that corn is probably gonna rotten and ripen and make that uh, water into uh, basically some alcohol or something. I'm gonna call everybody over here, get everybody uh, over here if we can. All right, so I called the police department. A few of them have already showed up and started investigating. Man, this is just sad. Somebody would stoop to this level, do this much damage, is just wrong. Man, I sure hope Jim was covered. So, Jim did show up. He was so sick, he just had to leave. So, he said, uh, take care of it, deal with it. Got somebody in green. That's got to be a park ranger or forage agent or something. So I talked to one of the local farmers and they actually uh, said they think they may be able to help me out. So they do know somebody that owns a giant, uh, basically a crane. I guess it would be called a crane, but this thing is giant. So it should be able to just be able to lift these uh, semis right out of the water here uh, hopefully anyways uh, yeah hopefully we could just uh, lift one of these semis out that's the goal anyways so uh, I think we're gonna go get that uh, crane so I'm gonna go ahead and leave these uh, park rangers and uh, sheriff department everyone here to do their job so I'm going to go see if I can uh, contact this guy with the crane, I guess, and uh, see if he can help us out. Uh, what do you know? It looks like Cousin's over there getting a taco. Uh, I can't believe it, but uh, guess what we're driving? Uh, a whole six miles an hour? I know, we are breaking records here. But, it is kind of cool we get to drive this thing. Uh, I can't believe. So apparently they just said uh, if somebody's certified. So I'm not really certified to use this, but I think I can drive it to the, the basically the lot. Uh, somebody else there is certified to run a crane, oddly enough. They said they would run it for me. They just don't want to drive it. We do have a police escort looking pretty snazzy here in my hard hat and everything I think but our police escort is because we are driving at a max speed of six miles an hour uh, this thing has seen its day it's uh let's just say a little bit uh on the used side all right, I'm, I'm just going to uh, drive this over to the side, try to find a nice flat area, and then I guess the crane operator is going to run this. All right, so we got everyone. So police department said we're clear to start removing these uh, semis. Uh, I do have somebody qualified to run the this big uh, crane, I guess. So we just got it hitched up to the back and this thing basically is going to pull this truck right out of there. It's crazy. We're going to pull this truck out. We got the this uh, rear uh, pump broke off basically so it's not attached anyways. We're going to pull this back, pull that out there first and then hitch up to the, the Ford, the poor old Ford on the side there and then... Uh, yeah, 
All right, so we are a little bit farther. We just basically got uh, it pulled out to the side. So we just kind of pick up the rear, use the front uh, wheels basically to turn it out. Oh, we got a little bit farther. Man, it's slow going, but uh, we're getting this semi out. Uh, this grain, I think maybe we can probably sell it to a feedlot. Uh, the feedlot might be able to use it. I don't know. We'll have to see. So I get the task of hooking up this uh, hitch here, which means I get to be wet. So I'm going to hook this up. So we got the cat out of there. So that thing is pulled out. So they did, did get water in the engine, of course. So we got this thing. Oh, man. Got it semi out. So it's halfway out got to pull it the rest of the way so this thing still got a lot of weight on it man sure glad we got to use the crane for this this is making this way easier all right I'm gonna unhitch this now got that undone now we just need to uh, get this old semi out I think I'm gonna ask this sheriff to uh, move his truck he might want to move it just for uh, protection one of the farmers actually bought his uh, nice little uh, class uh, payloader over here. So we didn't actually need it. I don't know what, but it was nice of him, considerate of him. Thing is, uh, different looking, I'll just say that. Very different looking. Alright, I get the pleasure of hitching this thing up again in the water. It should hook up. Man gotta pull this this will definitely be a challenge for that big crane so good thing about a crane it just basically lifts it up to center and uh, not a lot so I'm kind of surprised it can lift this much but we will see I hope this thing can lift it all right so I gotta reposition this hook somewhere so it was on its side, now it's going to wreck up the truck, so got to reposition it, get it in a different location. Yeah, get this, uh, truck is basically, uh, the hard part is done, we're flipped over. Now we just got to pull it back here a little bit, should be good. Alright, whoo, man, Wilson trailer took a lot, so it's creaking and cracking and popping and, ugh alone tires on it look at all that corn in that water crazy all that corn I don't know how we're gonna get it out of there they're gonna have to drain it they're gonna have to clean it up Ugh. Ugh. that isn't good but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.